Good evening. In RMD Engineering College, I am Sarla V, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce and Engineering. I am going to discuss about the text classification and clustering. The subject is Information Retrieval Techniques, CS 8050. Uh, in this session, we are going to discuss about text classification. In the text classification, is a machine learning technique that assigns a set of predefined category to open in text. The text classification is to use to organize, structure, categorize, uh, document, medical studies, files, everything is in a categorized format. For example, new article can be organized by a topic. So in the text classification, the important is 80% of all information is unstructured and remaining the data is structured. In the unstructured means in the form of uh, mess, like uh, text, analyzing, you know, videos, like that unstructured text will be there. So we are using the text classification companies can be automatically structure all the manner of relevant text from emails, legal documents, social media, chatbot, surveys, and more in the fast and cost effective way. Uh, in the machine learning based on the text classification, learns makes classification based on the past uh, observation. Uh, like that past observation in the sense uh, pre-labeled example, training data set, machine learning algorithm, we are giving a tag predefined classification category, which types it belongs to, which types it fall into uh, by understanding the machine representation, frequency word within a predefined list of words. Like that, we are categorizing, we vectorizing the different sample model to make accurate prediction. Here, how the YAML works is training. Based on the training, it works. The given text, what is the feature of the extractor? That using that feature, we are training a machine learning, uh, using some machine learning algorithm, we are classifying the model. So that is the example for training a data set. Prediction is for the given text, we are extracting the feature. From the feature, we are classifying which model it belongs to, we are tagging, that is prediction. So here two things is, one is training, second one is prediction. Here then the training data of machine learning, we have a three different uh, learning. One is supervised learning, another one is unsupervised supervised learning, third one is semi-supervised learning. In the supervised learning, the label data provides an input, has an input. Here, only labeled data, that is called a supervised learning. Supervised means labeled. Unsupervised means not labeled. No label training data is provided. So here, these are the two difference between the labeled and unlabeled, that is supervised and unsupervised learning. Here we are discussing about semi-supervised learning. Combining with large amount of unlabeled data is called a semi-supervised learning. So here three learning approach. One is supervised, that is called as uh, labeled. Second one is unsupervised, that is called as non-labeled. Third one is semi-supervised, is combined of large amount of unlabeled data. So three learning techniques. In the text classification algorithm, either supervised or unsupervised, the algorithm is said to be unsupervised when no information on training. Unsupervised are suitable for large collections for which non-training data is available. In this classification, classification is a supervised machine learning. We're going to discuss supervised machine learning in that the algorithm is classification algorithm. Here the classification is a supervised machine learning process that involves predicting the classes of a given data point. The classes can be target labels or categories. For example, spam, data, spam detection in the machine learning algorithm. Either the mail is spam or not spam. The common classification algorithm includes K nearest neighbor, decision tree, navy base, and artificial neural network. These are the different classification algorithm, common algorithm is used. In the supervised learning, the particular person is training the data set, training the data set and described output. This is the trained data set. This is the output. So here the input data is raw data. The output is predicting which is for example they are given different fruits apple pear mango like that they are given a raw input data they have trained a system then finally the machine will predict this is the apple this is a pear this is a mango like that it will predict they are given a spam mail and not spam fail they are using the classifier 
it from the inbox, from the folder of the spam, it will identify whether the mail is spam mail or not a spam mail. So in the today's session, what we have discussed is what is supervised learning, unsupervised learning, semi-supervised learning in the machine learning process, how the prediction and training is done with the one need diagram we have seen. And in the supervised learning, we have seen an example algorithm is classification. We have how we have trained a data, how it is predicting a data. I hope you understand what is supervised, unsupervised, and semi-supervised. Thank you.